What is going on everybody? PPG and Pops back again and today I'm going to be showing you guys a ton of new pops I got for the collection that I am actually so excited to show you guys. Um, we're looking at, I, I think, I want to say, so, okay, 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, I want to say 15 new pops I'm going to show you guys today. 16, 16, 16. 16, 17, 17, 17 new Fungo Pops in the video. I'm so excited to show you guys this. Um, I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. Uh, I just want to explain what's been going on also very, very quickly because um, I want to get into the video. I want to start this video because I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, I've been going on vacation a lot. I was just on a cruise. I just came back from Texas from visiting some friends. Um, I'm going to Las Vegas next week. I'm doing a lot of things and uh, that's why videos have been slow. But the collection has not been slow. The collection has been growing pretty rapidly and I'm just so excited to show you guys everything. So let's get into it. Let's not waste any more time and let's go. All right, guys. So um, I'm actually really, really excited excited to show you guys everything that we have today um i know it's been a while i know i have not made a video in a while but there's a lot of new pops that you guys have not seen that i have added to the collection we are almost at 800 funko pops in the collection i'm so excited to uh show you guys this so let's get into it First, I'm going to show you guys a pop that i got from makari this was about 12 dollars um I picked up, it's a pop from the Falcon Winter Soldier. It's Baron Z Zemo, Zemo. It's a really, really cool character. I actually ended up picking up two of these. I have two of them now. Um, I just, I think it looks really good. This is a good one to have. This could shoot up in value soon. So this is just a nice one to have. Um, so yeah, we have this one. Um, I do want to show you uh, a Funko Pop I got from Texas. This was from a 7-Eleven laying around. And this is a Frontline Heroes. This was $10. It's a COVID-19. 19 fungal pop it just basically it's like a um basically it's it's global global giving is um like what this is connected to and um it's just basically like bringing aware to the first responders of covid19 and the amazing people um and doctors that helped with that so this is a really really cool fungal pop i put it in a protector because um i just i want this in a protector so yeah so that's no that's number two um actually 18 i'm going to show you guys another one right now so um this is fluffy from Despicable Me. When I went on the cruise uh, this summer, like literally a couple weeks ago, I went to Universal Studios and I found this. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it. So it's a Universal exclusive. Um, it says exclusive Universal Studios product. This is an official one. I got this from Universal and it retailed for $22. So it's a little bit more expensive than up here, you know? Um, up here where I am, uh, a Funko Pop with a sticker usually is $14.90, about $15. This was $22, and that's retail. That's what Universal is selling this for. So it's a really, really nice uh, mold, and I just, I'm just i so happy to have this one. So that's that. We also picked up a Freddy Funko. You usually don't see me. Um, I don't really buy that many Freddy Funkos because a lot of them are just astronomical prices, and um, I'm not going to I'm not gonna drop like a thousand dollars a one thousand plus dollars on a freddy funko but this was actually very reasonably priced um i believe i paid i want to say i paid this was literally like like literally last week i bought this um 32 dollars. this was 32 dollars, and it is freddy funko um as a a football player it's a um it's a funko shop exclusive and um, if you look under his eyes, you can even see like the little paint that he put. It just looks so awesome. And it's a Funko Shop exclusive from 2019. Actually, the year I started collecting Funko Pops. Um, really, really nice figure. I just saw it and I was like, you know what? When do you ever see a Freddy Funko for 32 bucks? So not bad, you know. Um, I believe PPG is $32. So I, I think that is just what a phenomenal steal i really like this one so that's that um in texas i also got this fungo pop which is catwoman this was uh stupidly on sale i believe i paid five bucks 
six bucks, not even, it's so cheap. And um, yeah, so that's another one. Um, there's actually a few more I'm gonna show you. Um, there's more than 18, I think there's 20. Um, I know I keep I keep saying that, but um, there's just more that I, I, I'm catching up now that I haven't shown you guys. So yeah, this was six bucks, really, really nice. Um, it's a breast cancer research foundation pop, just super awesome. I love everything about that. And um, I just thought it was really awesome. And for six bucks, how can you pass it up? How? Tell me how you can pass up a $6 Funko Pop. I don't care if it's worth two bucks. To me, it's still worth six bucks. I don't care. So it's cool. Also from the Funko Shop, we got Birthday Freddy Funko. Um, they did release this. I'm not sure if it's still in the Funko Shop. It may be. But um, yeah, this is awesome. This is sick. It's a happy birthday, Freddy. And um, yeah, it was $15 on the Funko Shop. And why the hell not, you know? It's a really good one. I'm happy we picked it up. Now I'm going to show you guys a ton of pops I got today actually from Hot Topic because Hot Cash just started and you know I have a ton of those. So here we go. We're going to go pretty quick. There's a lot of pops here. So I want to I want to show you guys. So we did pick up a ton of the Disney Villains pops. So we picked up um, Cruella DeVille. Cru Cru Cruella DeVille. We picked her up, which is really, really nice. Very, very nice mold. Um, I love, I actually love that one a lot. We also picked up Maleficent, Disney villains as well. Really, really nice mold as well. We picked up a couple of the Blacklight Disney villains. Um, this guy, I don't even know how to say his name, but I'm going to show you guys. We picked up this. Um, every one of these pops. So this was $14.90. So if it was $14.90, I got it for $7.38. And then if it was um, if it was uh, $12, I believe it was like $11.90, $11 I paid $6.48 for the pops because of hot cash. So really, really good steals. We also got Captain Hook, which is a Disney villain's blacklight. Super awesome. These were all $7.67. Seven, six, six, $7. Um, really, really awesome. Uh, we also have um, another Maleficent, but this is the Blacklight version of her. So we had to pick that up. And it's crazy now because I have all three of them. So collect them all. I actually do have them all. So I have a complete set now um, for these. I have all three. I have Captain Hook, Maleficent, and then the Doctor guy. So I have all three of them, which is awesome. It's so cool to complete sets, man. It's it's just so awesome. We also have um, Evil Queen, which is another Disney villains, which is really, really nice. Um, we also have Captain Hook. Did I already say Captain Hook? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Not, no. Cap, this is Captain Hook. Um, I, I don't know. I haven't been a protector. I'm probably going to switch him out. Um, but yeah, Captain Hook. This is a Disney villain. Again, but this is not the Blacklight one now. This is the normal. So we got that. And then we also got, um, Green Goblin. I don't know. I just saw this one on the shelf and I was like, eh, why not? Yeah, sure. Why not? You know, it's a cool one. Um, I just, I like the mold. I thought it looked cool and Marvel's pretty cool. You know, Marvel's cool to have. It's always good to have. Um, next one we got was a uh, one Rugrats character. I really wish I could have found Chucky, but unfortunately he wasn't at the hot topic. I was at, this is the only one that was there. So we picked it up. <laughs> why not? Rugrats is sick. Um, and for practically six bucks, why the hell not? And then the last three in this, um, hot topic, uh, pickup, we got three of the Lightyear pops. I don't know if you guys know, but Buzz Lightyear got his own movie and a lot of his fungal pops have been releasing at hot topic. And, um, I was able to find these three. So I got Izzy Hawthorne. I think that's how you say Hawthorne. Yeah. So Izzy, I got her. She looks really good. I also have socks coming in the mail flocked from the fungal shop. I picked that up as well. So, um, I have her very, very mint. They're all pretty mint. Maybe a couple creases there here and there, but that's just shelf wear. There's nothing I can really do unless I go through every single pop and like, like just like analyze like analyze every single one which i'm not going to do i'm going to buy them put them on my shelves and that's literally all so that's the first one the second one is buzz lightyear xl 15 with socks so this is the one of him holding socks extremely nice obviously most of them are all mints unless there's like major creases obviously i would not have bought it but for the most part they're all pretty mint so that's that and then the last one from the hot topic pickup is zerg i am so this is probably my favorite one that i got today like out of all these pops this is probably one of my favorite ones um i just love it and uh yes he's in a protector he's going to stay in a protector um 
I don't expect these Lightyear Pops to go anywhere value-wise. I've heard a lot of negativity over the movie. I haven't seen the movie personally, but I have heard that the movie wasn't that great. So that does harm the Funko Pop value most of the time. So um, I don't see these ever going anywhere past $50. I really don't see these going anywhere. Like I know on PPG, these are all worth $11, $12, $15. Um, I don't see them going any, any way more than 40 or $50. Like it's just not going to get there, but they're just cool. I like them. Um, they're nice to look at and Zerg, they have not made a Zerg Funko Pop since the OG one, since like the 2011 or 2012 one, the one with like the Disney and, the, and then the Disney store logo. Um, Unfortunately, I don't have that one. I really do wish I had the OG Zerg, but um, I was looking for it. But at the time when I was looking, everybody wanted astronomical prices, like $300 plus for the Zerg. And I just didn't want to pay that, man. I don't want to pay $300 for a Zerg pop when I could just get this. And it looks, it looks really good. You know, I love this. So... We have the new one. It looks really cool. And um, yeah, so that's that. We also have a few more. I think there's two more I want to show you guys. I'm just going to um, just look really, really quickly to make sure I'm not missing anything. I don't think I'm missing anything, guys. Um, give me one second. I'm going to show you guys two more, and then we're going to close out the video. All right, guys. So the last two Funko Pops um, on this in this video is going to be the Underminer, which I got from a from Texas. Um when I was in Texas with some friends, we went to this to this gaming Fungo Pop comic book shop and they had this. Guess how much I paid for this, guys? <laughs> Do you see on the bottom? $5.99. It was $6 for this Fungo Pop. I just love it, man. Now, again, this is what I'm telling you. Incredibles 2 wasn't that liked by many, many people. That's why you see pops like this from the set just, 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 just down. That's why a lot of these pops are not going anywhere because the movie was not really that good. A lot of people did not like Incredibles 2. So if the movie does bad, so does the pops. That's why you're seeing um, Underminer, which is such a cool pop. Funko has never made an Underminer Funko Pop, but that's why you're seeing these Funko Pops at $6 because the movie just... It just, it failed, man. A lot of people did not like it. And if the movie sucks and a lot of people don't like the movie, the pops will not be popular. People won't want them because the movie's not good. So, unfortunately, that's the reason why um, these all these incredible pops, like literally almost all of them, are just not worth jack crap. They're not worth anything, man. Um, it's all because of the movie, you know? But uh, it's okay, you know? It's still cool. So we have that. Um, also, I do have... I mean, I guess this is an appropriate time to show you guys. Um, I do have Dash signed. So I do have Dash from Incredibles 2 signed, and it is authenticated. So that is really cool. I got this years and years ago I bought this. Um, this this has been in the collection for many years. Um, and I believe I paid 30 bucks for it. I think 30 bucks. I'm a Kari. I bought it off someone for literally 25 or 30 bucks at the time. It was not going for anything. I don't really know how much it goes for now, but it's probably worth more than 30 bucks than I spent. But uh, still, it's cool, you know? I thought it was pretty nice. And then now we have Undermine it. Um, I know I have Violet as well. I know I do have her. I would have to do a lot of digging to find her, but I know I do have Violet. Um, with like the stickers. I think she had like a shared sticker, 2018 shared sticker. But um, yeah, so this is a really good one. And then the last Funko Pop that I'm gonna show you guys is actually from Dungeons and Dragons. It's Asmodeus. Um, this was just a cool one that we also found. Um, as you guys can see, this was from Texas and this was $9.99. So we paid $10 for this. Um, I, I believe we got this, I got this from Barnes and Noble. It was Barnes and Noble for 10 bucks. So just cool, you know, when I scanned it, the app said 19. So I was like, ah, 10 bucks, it's not bad, you know, it's pretty cool. So um, for 10 bucks, why the hell not? And that's it guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys want me to do for my next video. Um, we have the mystery grill mystery boxes coming in the mail. So that's gonna be cool, stay tuned for that. And then we also have the socks. The, um, the light-eared little dog coming in flocked from the mail. So yeah, guys, lots of stuff coming, and I'm so excited. And thank you for watching. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're awesome. Don't forget to smile because you're all wonderful people. Have a wonderful day. PPG and Pops out. See you later.